Welcome to Rodney's Publishing. For more tales like thee, as listen to my complete playlist, Rodney's Film Clued, Rodney's Writing Den. Also, don't forget to check out those of a manic depression. In the celestial expanse, Lucifer was the divine maestro, the conductor of the universe's first notes. His instrument, the very fabric of creation, woven with threads of light and energy, his melodies, pure, unadulterated beauty, a harmony that transcended the physical realm. Angels would pause, their ethereal forms vibrating with the power of each note, their very essence resonating with his music. Lucifer, with eyes like dying suns, conducted symphonies that echoed through the emptiness, filling the void with celestial sound. His heart, a furnace of passion, poured every ounce of his being into his art, each note a testament to his devotion. He was the morning star, radiating light and music, the envy of all who beheld him, a beacon of divine artistry. Lucifer's music was not merely heard, it was felt, a vibration that touched the core of existence. It resonated in the core of every angel, stirring emotions unknown in their perfect existence, awakening feelings they never knew they had. It whispered of love, of joy, of longing, a symphony of emotions that painted the heavens with its beauty. Yet beneath the surface, a hint of something darker pulsed, an undercurrent of unrest, a longing for something more, a desire that gnawed at the edges of his soul. But in the perfection of heaven, what more could there be? What could satisfy the yearning of the morning star? Each note Lucifer played was a universe unto itself, a symphony of creation and destruction, a delicate balance of chaos and harmony. Galaxies swirled within the crescendo of a chord, their spirals dancing to the cosmic melody that resonated through the fabric of space. Stars ignited to the rhythm of his compositions, each one a brilliant note in the grand symphony of the cosmos, lighting up the dark void with their radiant glow. Nebulas, vast and colorful, were brushstrokes on the canvas of his music, each one a testament to the boundless creativity and power of his celestial artistry. The angels, bathed in the celestial glow of his harmonies, felt a stirring within their timeless souls, a resonance that echoed through their very beings. It was a new sensation, a subtle ache of yearning that mirrored the hidden longing within Lucifer's own heart, a desire for something beyond the eternal. The celestial courts, usually filled with serene silence, thrummed with an unseen energy a vibration that spoke of change and possibility. Lucifer's music had woven its magic, painting tapestries of sound that transcended time and space, creating a bridge between the known and the unknown. Even the most stoic of angels found themselves swaying to the rhythm, their faces alight with wonder and a newfound sense of connection to the music. But was it wonder alone that shone in Lucifer's eyes? Or was there a flicker of something else, a deeper, more profound emotion that lay hidden beneath the surface? a hunger for recognition, for something more than just appreciation, a desire to be seen, to be understood, to be acknowledged for the true depth of his gift. Then God spoke, not with a voice, but with an idea, a concept so vast, so magnificent, that it required a canvas beyond imagination. God, hearing the music of Lucifer, saw potential beyond measure, the raw power, the unbridled creativity. It was the tool the Creator needed. With a thought, God reached down and gathered the celestial music, weaving it, shaping it. God began the grand design. From the echoes of Lucifer's most powerful chords, God crafted the universe, stars ignited, planets formed, and life began to stir in the primordial soup of newborn worlds. With each celestial note, creation bloomed. The angels watched in awe, their voices hushed in reverence for the Creator and his awe-inspiring work. Lucifer watched, his fiery eyes widening in disbelief. The scene before him was almost too much to bear. His music, his creation, was being used by another. Each note, each melody was a piece of his soul now in the hands of someone else. The harmonies he poured his very essence into were no longer his. They were being twisted, altered and reshaped without his consent. A cold dread gripped his heart, followed by a searing rage that burned hotter than a thousand suns. This was not right. This was an affront to his very being. This was his symphony, his masterpiece the culmination of his divine creativity and effort. It was being taken from him, his life's work, his magnum opus. 
Resentment, a venomous serpent began to coil within his heart. It whispered dark thoughts, feeding his growing anger. He had poured his heart and soul into his music, believing it to be the pinnacle of creation. Every note was a testament to his genius. Now he saw it being molded, shaped into something else entirely. It was no longer his vision, but a distorted reflection. It was a betrayal more profound than any he could have imagined. The pain was almost physical, a deep wound in his soul. The other angels, sensing the shift in their leader, drew back, their gazes filled with a mixture of apprehension and pity. They could feel the storm brewing within him, a tempest of emotions ready to explode. Section 5. A Seed of Rebellion. How dare God use his art, his essence, to fashion a universe not his own? Lucifer the Morning Star felt a new emotion bloom within him, envy. It festered, a dark counterpoint to the love and joy he once embodied. The music of creation continued, but to Lucifer it was now a mocking echo, a constant reminder of his perceived theft. The whispers started subtly. Why should they serve a god who would steal and claim as his own? The angels, once loyal to Lucifer, now shifted uneasily, their gazes flickering between the magnificence of the newborn universe and the simmering rage of their former leader. The harmony of heaven was fracturing, a discordant note in the symphony of creation. Section 6. The Price of Pride Lucifer, consumed by his wounded pride, allowed the whispers to fester into dangerous thoughts. He, the most radiant angel, the architect of beauty, had been unjustly robbed. It was an injustice that demanded retribution. His music, his power, deserved recognition. He deserved to be worshipped. His once beautiful music warped, becoming discordant, filled with the cacophony of rebellion. No longer content with his role as the celestial musician, Lucifer sought to claim the title of creator for himself. He would show God and all of heaven the true potential of his power. The angels, caught between the familiar allure of their former leader and the awe-inspiring power of the creator, were forced to make a choice. Section 7, The Fall of the Morning Star. The heavens trembled as Lucifer, his heart consumed by darkness, challenged the divine order. He rallied his followers, promising them power and freedom from the supposed tyranny of creation. The battle raged, a maelstrom of light and shadow, angelic voices clashing in a horrifying chorus. But Lucifer, for all his brilliance, had made a fatal miscalculation. He had forgotten the source of his power, the very essence that fueled his music. It was God's, and God alone, to control. Defeated and broken, Lucifer, the once radiant morning star, plummeted from the heavens, his cries of defiance echoing through the newly formed cosmos. Section 8, Music of the Damned. Cast down to the abyss, Lucifer's light was extinguished, his music silenced. But rage, a powerful muse, still burned within him. He would not be silenced. He would create his own kingdom, one built on defiance and despair. And so, in the depths of his exile, Lucifer found his voice once more. But it was no longer the symphony of creation. It was the guttural roar of the damned. His music, now twisted and corrupted, became the anthem of the underworld. The instruments he crafted were forged from pain and suffering, their melodies a testament to his fall from grace. He would show God, he would show them all, that even in darkness his power could not be denied. Section 9, Echoes of Creation. Yet even in the bowels of his self-made hell, Lucifer could not escape the echoes of his past. The universe he had helped shape continued to exist, a constant reminder of his former glory and his ultimate downfall. Each twinkling star, each burst of cosmic energy was a painful reminder of what he had lost. And so the devil, the fallen angel, continued his dark symphony, his music a haunting counterpoint to the celestial harmony above. The universe, forever marked by his rebellion, bore the scars of his ambition and the echoes of his pain. Section 10. A universe unfinished. The story of creation, however, is not over. It continues to unfold, a magnificent tapestry woven from stardust and dreams. And somewhere, 
Within the fabric of existence, the music of Lucifer still lingers, a reminder that even in darkness there is beauty to be found. For creation, like destruction, is but another movement in the grand symphony of the cosmos. And so, the music plays on, a testament to the enduring power of creation and the eternal struggle between light and darkness, order and chaos that defines our universe. Pick up your copy Leave Room for Human Errors by Rodney Johnson. All short stories.